We are launching into a table at Mahjong time. In this session, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you would like to try playing at Mahjong time, look for my email in the video description below. Let's see what we can do with these tiles, including uh, jokers. So we have no multiples elsewhere. We do have a lot of big tiles, five through nine. So I'm thinking consecutive run five through nine, maybe big odds, five, seven, nine. So we'll give up the east, the three, and a two or the four, two, four, let's see. Let's just give these up. We'll focus on big numbers, so we'll get rid of this two crack next, and we'll gather five through nine, which includes big odds. That's why you can tandem between odds and consecutive run. If you're playing big odds and you fill in, you can play something consecutive same thing goes for two, four, six, eight. There's just a number separating each, so if they fill in, you can switch. So we've got a white dragon and a nine, big number. I do not like to pass like num or white dragons or like numbers for that matter. So let's see, we still have no multiples. We have three little numbers, including like numbers. So I do not want to pass that. I'm thinking there's a greater representation of odds, so we're going to pass one of each suit and focus on five, seven, nine, big odds. If you haven't noticed in the odd category for 2019, there are two or three, three hands, let me see, two hands that span the full range, one, three, five, seven, nine. All the others use either one, three, five, or five, seven, nine which is why I call them big odds and little odds. So we have big odds in this case. We need to give something up. We have five, seven, nine. I wouldn't consider a pair hand because we've got jokers. So let's go ahead and play two suits. Let's give up the five. We could maybe even play the fourth hand down. We do have the opposite dragon from these two suits. We have tiles we can pass here. I definitely don't want to stop the Charleston. I've got lots of discards. Still don't have a multiple here. So we have five, seven, seven, nine, fourth hand down, no gaps, but no multiples. So I think in this case, we could go ahead and give up that seven. I want to hold the nines because we might be able to do the second from the bottom where you have Kongs of like numbers and it would be sevens or nines, six, one, half dozen, the other. In this case, the seven came in. So let's go ahead and give up the nine and we'll build around the seven cracks. Anytime you develop a new multiple, just reassess your hand and build around that multiple. So I'm thinking at the moment, if we play five, seven, seven, nine, fourth hand down using the dragon, we have no gaps. And we could go with five, seven with the bams and seven, nine with the cracks, or we could go the other way depending on how the multiples come in. So we'll discard those. We're looking for big odds. Pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. That's the convention for that hand. We've got a dot, five dot. That would not be a keeper. Three tiles to pass. So we ended up with one keeper through that Charleston. And we really have four discards at the moment. Five discards, actually. Five discards. So that was not a very good Charleston in this situation, but we've got jokers and we did end up with a multiple. So we'll see, I think we're gonna be an underdog for this race.
we got the 7 back. We could potentially switch to like numbers with 7s. We have all the 7s. Let's just see how this goes. 8 characters. We'll get rid of the wind. Sound wind. So we're kind of in between. East characters. Probably the fourth hand down. East we wind. could potentially do the second hand down. We could do like Six numbers. Plus. We're in between. Let's get rid of the one crack. One character. We have all the nines now too. If I didn't have jokers, I would go for the five, East seven, nine is. pair hand. But I would One not character. discard two jokers for that pair hand, at least not in this situation. One character. We got another joker. Three characters. Okay, we have three jokers. We could maybe even play a quint. But I think what I would do here is focus on the fourth hand down. Two dots. Or like numbers with sevens. If we get multiples, we might even be able to play that like number quint. Three dots. We got a dragon. I'm kind Nine of thinking dots. we should switch to like numbers with dragons. Five, seven, nine. All we've got all the sevens. Five, seven, seven, nine. Seven characters. We're gonna stay concealed. West wind. Okay, five, seven, seven, nine. Let's get rid of the seven. Seven dots. Seven nine. Five seven seven nine. Eight bamboos. With the dragon. Here's the weakness though. Five dots. The five seven in bams. That's the weakness. Six characters. Because those are pairs. Eight dots. Unless we went with five seven pairs seven nine in the pungs Eight and then nine. Kong the dragon. So we're going to give up on like Six numbers at dots. this point now that we have a multiple with the nine. North wind. Now we have some consecutive coming in. Let's get rid of the red dragon. Red dragon. Pung. Eight characters. Pass on that. We got the seven dot. Seven dots. West wind. We do have a gap with a consecutive option. Five through Four nine in dots. one suit under consecutive run, the first hand. So I don't think I would give any attention Seven to that. Characters. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pung. We'll we'll see how pung. this goes. This is a bit risky because we do not have Eight pairs. Characters. We can use two of these jokers Sound or even wind. stay concealed with the Red rest dragon. of the hand. Uh, maybe if the nine goes down, we could pung. All we really need is a five, five bam. Yeah, that would be the one. Okay. So if we can pair up the five or the seven, we'll be good to go. So this this was a, a bit of a risk. I'm kind of glad I didn't play like numbers because all those dragons are down now. Six characters. Now, we could potentially play 5 bam, 7 bam, Pung 9 bamboos. crack. Let's switch and pung because we can use any number of jokers for the second hand down. Pung. So we're going to switch and play 5, 7, 7, 9, nine in two bamboos. suits, bam, bams and cracks. Pung kong, pung kong, 5, 7, Four 7, bamboos. 9. All we need is a 7 bam or a 9 Pung crack. Bamboos. And we have the same number of discards, and we can use any number of jokers. Seven For the fourth hand down, I would have had to discard a joker. One bamboo. So let's see how this switch goes. White dragon. White dragon. We need a seven bam or a nine crack. Nine dots. And then we'll be set. For second hand down on the right. Five dots. South wind. 
North wind. Eight dots. Five dots. Nine bam. Hmm. Two bamboos. Wrong suit. Kong. Oh. One dot. Two dots. Nine bam. We'll hold that for Joker bait. Five characters. Let's see. Nine bam. Maybe this player to the my left is playing three six nine knitted, and could six use the nines. Moves. White dragon. We'll hold this for a couple more picks if we can, unless we get a keeper. Nine dots. That would be a keeper. Nine. So bamboos. we're we're set now here with our hand. We need to pung and kong. Eight bamboos. One dot. And they didn't need the nine bam. Seven bamboos. So here we'll kong. Kong. And we're ready on a nine crack. Nine And bamboos. of course everybody knows that we need it. Anytime you have three exposures out, your hand's a giveaway. Even with two, two exposures, characters. people can typically figure out what you're playing. One so dot. we are ready to win on a nine crack. Or a seven bam. Bamboo. Or a two bam because there are jokers. Nine bamboos. One bamboo. So the player across from us, One dot. they're playing consecutive run. They need three bams. Six bamboos. We got Mahjong. Self-pick. I don't know if anybody would have given that one up. Nobody would have needed it. So the players here at the table, we had uh, two, three, it looks like they were in between three, four, three, four. Consecutive run hand with flowers. Second from the bottom under consecutive run. Looks like that, that might be what they were trying to do. Or one, two, three with fours if they could get the one bams. But they were really light with their flowers. Over here, we had two, three dragons. The fifth hand down, but they could not get flowers. They did have jokers that they could use, but their light one tile there. If they had dedicated one of those jokers as a flower and maybe had another joker or a flower, they would have been able to make a, a Kong out of that. So... In this case, even though we had three exposures, we picked our win, so it worked out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos, and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next strategy theory for American Mahjong, using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.